The outbreak of the coronavirus pandemic and the global disruptions that ensued brought to the fore the grievous implications of a high dependence on foreign sources for essential needs such as medical and pharmaceutical supplies. In response, Nigeria's fiscal and monetary authorities rolled out policies and schemes designed to accelerate the domestic production of pharmaceutical products and other medical goods. Nigeria's recent experiences have vindicated the Bank of Industry's foresight in actively supporting the domestic production of health-related products and services. This was why the bank established a health desk within the large enterprises group. Through this bold initiative, BOI has been assisting imaginative Nigerian entrepreneurs in actualizing their vision of in-country production of pharmaceutical products and other medical goods, as well as services. One of such BOI financed domestic production ventures is Medin Pharmaceuticals Limited, established 11 years ago. Medin is owned by the Awoshika family. The company expanded its ultra-modern intravenous fluid manufacturing facility, which was recently commissioned in its Shagamu Interchange factory in Ogun State. The factory was commissioned by the state governor, His Excellency Dako Abiodun. The governor of Ondo State, His Excellency Arakuri Rotimi Akiri Dulu SAN, was on hand to support one of the prominent families of the state that has continued to do the state proud nationally. And in view of the national strategic importance of the project, the Honorable Minister of Health, Dr. Osage Ehanire also graced this milestone event in the annals of the development of Nigeria's pharmaceutical industry. Our former Minister of Health, Prince Julius Adelui, who is one of the forebearers of Nigeria's pharmaceutical industry, was also at the event. And the Governor, Babajide Songwolu of Lagos State, was represented by the State Commissioner for Health, Professor Akin Abayomi. Mr. Olukai Dekpiton, the Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of Nigeria's foremost development finance institution, BOI, that has been supporting the project since inception 11 years ago, was among the many dignitaries who graced the ceremony. Providers Bank, which is one of BOI's partner banks, was also ably represented by its MD and CEO, Mr. Walter Akwani. I am Hadiza Olaoshibiko, welcoming you to this week's edition of BOI Impact that will once again showcase the can-do spirit of Nigeria's indigenous, hardworking and dodged entrepreneurs. All these qualities amply manifested in Medin Pharmaceutical Limited's highly challenging entrepreneurial journey with the active support of BOI as narrated in the testimonies of the project promoters. Please stay tuned for the vivid account of their day of glory. Medin Pharmaceuticals Limited, one of Nigeria's foremost pharmaceutical and healthcare providers, recently launched an ultra-modern intravenous fluid production factory in Shagamu, Ogun State. The facility is part of the organization's effort to deepen access to locally manufactured intravenous fluid to increase access to quality healthcare for Nigerians and significantly reduce foreign exchange and expenditure on imports. Speaking at the commissioning, the managing director of Medin Pharmaceuticals, Dr. Tola Awoshika, noted that the commissioning of the pharmaceutical plant was an opportunity to improve on the demand and supply in the intravenous medication. In 2018, we put a production on hold and we embarked on this journey in 2019. When we stopped production, we were a plant that produced 400 bottles an hour. Um, which came up to about 3 million bottles a year. Uh, the plant we're commissioning today has gone to 4,000 bottles an hour, 21 million bottles a year, with expanded capacity to 15 million bottles in the next 24 months. We have moved from water storage capacity of 40,000 um, liters of water to 140,000 liters of water. We've moved from 150 square meters of warehouse and raw material space to 4,500 square meters of raw material 
and warehouse space. We have moved from a diesel powered plant to building our own IPP. We have a two megawatt plant stationed right behind this podium. So we run completely on gas and we're completely off the grid. Um, we've also you know, done, done things like build a world-class cafeteria for our staff that can sit 200 people. We've moved from a one-shift operation to three-shift operation. We have uh, moved from zero recycling capacity to 30% savings on our raw materials by, by, the, by newly built recycling plants behind us. We've also moved from completely outsourced um, staff quarters. We had rented apartments all around Shagamu to a five-story building for all our um, five-story building for all our staff that will be running the shifts. So this is what we've been able to do um, over the last 14 months. And I say 14 months because this sort of expansion has never been done in the history of Nigeria in that time frame. Usually this expansion takes people between five to seven years. In 14 months, we were able to achieve all this by working day and night up to early hours of the morning this morning. We we're all here trying to make sure we we're perfect. Um, for me, Medin is like a baby who has overstayed in the mother's womb. Now, today we are born, we will begin to train this child, we will begin to water the plants, and I guarantee everyone that Medin would be a force to reckon with and would be one of the largest pharmaceutical companies in West Africa and in Nigeria by the special grace of God. Thank you. In his address, the chairman of Medin Pharmaceuticals, Dr. Olubayodi Awoshika, thanked various stakeholders for their support in expanding the production capacity of the company. Uh, God gave us the vision to provide high-performance medication for Nigerian consumption as part of our contribution to the pharmaceutical sector in the country. To this end, my, the family focused on parental products and decided to commence on the fluids while looking at the possibility of putting in place other medication as that goes on. We emerged again with the help of BUI and here we are today commissioning a project of expansion. Further today, the Central Bank of Nigeria also had a great input in their support during the intervention fund under COVID. With God Almighty on our side and with the support of everyone represented by their presence or representatives, we are here to commission this expansion project and provide better service to humanity. In the next shape of expansion, by the grace of God, we will be going into not just intravenous fluid, we will go into intravenous medications. And I believe that is going to come up as very soon by the grace of God. I want to thank uh, the Ogun State Government for providing the land for us. I want to thank Mr. Godwin Emefile, the Governor of Central Bank, for the intervention fund, which also came very, very handy, particularly during the um, COVID era. All the provisional bodies were most grateful. NAVDAC were extremely, extremely very useful to us. The staff of Bank of Industry, I cannot but mention you. So we are very, very grateful to everyone, every one of you in Bank of Industry, we say a big, big, big thank you. The Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of BOI, Mr. Oluka Adikpito, said the joy of the bank is to positively impact entrepreneurs to bring their dreams alive. When you come to a place like this, when you are commissioning a new project, that is the joy you know, uh, that we derive. To see projects you know, come to life, to see Nigerians back at work, uh, they're talking of expansion today of what they can do 4,000 bottles an hour you say that's a lot of bottles I also understand that even those 4,000 bottles we are talking about uh, they cannot even meet with demand they can't so people will be keen up to even buy because Nigeria needs more places like this uh, I want to congratulate the Awashikas again for the doggedness you know uh, over the years. Uh, so on your behalf, we want to thank uh, the Ogun State uh, Government for their support. Uh, thank Providence Bank for their support. And thank all those who have contributed in one way or the other to making today a reality. And even the staff of Bank of Industry. Uh, so on behalf of the Bank of Industry, 
We want to congratulate you and wish you well. God bless. The MD of Providos Bank, Mr. Walter Akwani, commended the management of Medin Pharmaceuticals for their unrelenting efforts. I want to commend their resilience, the resilience in the face of all the challenges that they had to be able to come this far. Secondly, one of the uh, comments this morning was that by God's grace, Medin will be in every state of Nigeria. They don't, they don't have to be there physically. They are all just going to be there by way of their products. They will get there. They will get everywhere. We are talking about 4,000, 400,000, 1 million, 4 million. They will reach every nook and cranny of Nigeria. That is our prayer for you. The governor of Undo State, His Excellency, Arakuri Rotimi Akiri Dulu SAN, also commended the Awushika family. I'm proud to be your niece here today. This to me is a significant leap coming after COVID-19 pandemic era. Medin's choice of taking on parental products such as this intravenous fluid, is so apt. It's needed everywhere. This step is great, and it has serious implication for the health of Nigerian citizens. It has implication for our economy, so that we don't keep importing all this. I congratulate our citizens for the bold step and hope that you will continue to expand to better serve not only Nigeria, to better serve West Africa and Africa as a whole. I thank you all. God bless you. In his goodwill message, the Executive Governor of Lagos State, His Excellency Babajide Sonwulu, represented by the State Commissioner for Health, Professor Akia Bayomi, noted that the commissioning of the pharmaceutical plant was an opportunity to improve on the demand and supply in the healthcare sector. Lagos and Ogun State are one contiguous geopolitical entity. And I think what we have here, Le Ogun State has the space and we have the population. So I think it's a perfect uh, combination. So one thing that COVID has taught us is that we need to be prepared and we need to be prepared in many ways. And one of the ways that are glaringly obvious to all of us is the biomedical pipeline. And what do I mean by that? Um, during COVID, even this simple mask, we ran out of masks and they went from a simple price of 10 Naira to hundreds or even thousands of Naira. We ran out of intravenous fluids, we ran out of PPE. And now we can see that as a country, we're constantly on the begging side, asking for the availability of vaccines that are so necessary for us to carry on a public health intervention against this dreaded pandemic. So the forces of supply and demand are critical. And what we have here is the beginning of what I see as the opportunity to dampen those forces of supply and demand so that when we're under stress and under pressure, we have the indigenous capacity to respond and produce the medical consumables, apart from other consumables, that allow us to address shocks to our system, just like COVID is and continues to be a shock to our system. In his remarks, the Minister of Health, Dr. Sage Ehaniri, commended the investment, noting that the plant was a significant addition to the pharmaceutical asset of Nigeria. No doubt a bold investment in the health sector at this remarkable time, when the COVID-19 pandemic seriously tests the resilience of global health systems, including ours. As we wage our war against it, I am gratified to see this ultra-modern plant spring up 
as a significant addition to the pharmaceutical assets in our country. It demonstrates that Nigeria is focused on growth and determined to strengthen the health sector as a pathway towards achieving universal health coverage and the health-related sustainable development goals. The pharmaceutical industry is a pillar in our health system and its leaders have given adequate proof of their capacity to mobilize themselves in support of government efforts in times of crisis. The Medi Pharmaceutical Intravenous Fluid Plant reminds us that they are a force to be reckoned with in ensuring supply of key medicines nationally and potentially globally, and working with medical teams and scientists to strengthen health delivery transparently and with agility. The plant has huge capacity and potentially huger capacities to produce 0.9% of sodium chloride solution, 5% dextrose in water or in normal saline, but can also produce a lot more in variety, even 50% dextrose in 100 mils of water. Formulations like Aringa's lactate, Daro solution and Manitol will also be on the list. The Executive Governor of Ogun State, His Excellency, Prince Dako Abiodo, described the establishment of the medical company as another veritable investment in the healthcare sector. When I listened to all what has happened that has transformed this company from being a good company to a great company, I was very excited. Um, going from producing 400 bottles an hour to 4,000 bottles an hour. Uh, deciding not to bring in foreign consultants, but using indigenous consultants. Um, going from 0% recycling to 30% recycling, and also generating their own power. This obviously has translated into individual prosperity, and I hope for the people of Ogun State, because when there's economic development, there has to be individual prosperity via the employment of labor and so on and so forth. So the multiplier effect of having this company here can best be imagined. I want to commend all those that have joined hands with Awushika to make this a success. I want to particularly thank the central bank governor, um, Mr. Emefele, who has been very responsive and very proactive to ensuring the provision of the funding for the medical industry. Um, because he was very, very at the forefront of ensuring that he provided the necessary intervention for companies like this to come in and intervene at this particular time that is needed in a very fragile medical system. I want to thank the MD of BOI again, and also my brother, the MD of Providence Bank. The Awushikas, I congratulate you once again. After the speeches, his Excellency, Governor Dapo Abiodun, led other guests to commission the facility. After the tour of the facility, the Vice Chairman of Reading Pharmaceuticals, Dr. Deria Woshika, gave the vote of thanks. I look at the array of people that hold hands with us here today, standing on the existing protocol. And I reflect from our hearts in the family of Awoshika and on behalf of Medin Pharmaceuticals, a three-word reflection that stands very clearly we, the Awoshikas and Medin, we appreciate you, Your Excellency, Host Governor, Governor 
Dabo Abiodo. We salute Your Excellency, Arakuri, San Akerebolu, a man of uncommon effects, the Professor of Health as a Commissioner in Lagos State. We appreciate Governor Sanwolu, the Honorable Minister of Health, the Health Captain for Nigeria, our financiers, and this, you have good team, for taking us forward, Bank of Industry, for leading the team that takes us forward with a heart of compassion and respectability in all areas, and seeing what we see that is possible to bring the industry to be. We appreciate you, sir, and the team. We thank you. When you are uh, commissioning a new project, that is the joy, you know, uh, that we derive to see projects, you know, come to life, to see Nigerians back at work. Indeed, the joy of the Bank of Industry, like the bank's MD and CEO, Mr. Oluka Edekpito, said at the event, is to positively impact entrepreneurs to bring their dreams alive which in the process helps in catalyzing Nigeria's industrial transformation as enunciated by the federal government. The developmental impact of funding these types of projects are enormous. They include job creation, facilitating self-sufficiency to enable the country head against shortages during global emergencies as currently being witnessed, and of course, the conservation of scarce foreign exchange. At BOI, we shall remain focused on our key strategic pillars of deepening penetration in key markets and building a highly customer-centric bank that will ensure that Nigeria's comparative advantages are converted to competitive advantages. And we pledge to continue supporting potentially viable and developmentally impactful ventures. I am Hadiza Olaoshibiko, signing off. It's good evening and have yourself an enterprising week. Bye for now.